Hi, welcome to the seventh episode of Chatbot Creation. My name is Nisar Vikadam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe before you watch this video. Now, in this today's video, what we are going to see is we are going to see how can we connect UI path and dialog flow. So we are going to integrate the connection between uh, chatbot chatbot of UI path and the dialog flow. So for that, first of all, we will have to navigate to chatbot.uipath.com. Now I will automatically be logged in. It's because my orchestrator is already logged in with the same credentials. So I'm logged in. As you can see, there's no chatbot as of now. Now we will navigate first of all to Dialogflow. This is the German talker which we have created. Go to chatbots and say connect. We will give it a name as German talker and just say save. So we have created a new connection which is named as German talker in chatbot. Now what we have to do is integrate Dialogflow and orchestrator service. So first thing is Dialogflow. Let's integrate a Dialogflow. We need to enter the project ID. Let's navigate to Dialogflow, click on the settings option in the German talker and just select this particular project ID. Copy it, come back to chatbot, paste it here. We need a service account name. So this is nothing but the service account name right here. Copy it, come back to chatbot, enter the service account. Now we need a private key. Navigate back. Click on the service account, which will navigate you to Google Cloud Platform. Remember, in this service account, what you have to do is you have to navigate to I am this particular service account, which is of Dialogflow. You have to click here and you have to enable the API admin domain. Then come back to service account. If you are a first time user, then you have to enable the API admin domain in I am. Come back here and say create key. You see, I have created multiple keys here earlier. I will say create key. I want a JSON key, so I will click on JSON. I will say create. Once a JSON key is created, it will download a sublime, it will download a file. I have a sublime text to read it. Now, as you see, it will download a JSON file where you need to copy the private key. So I will select this private key inside double quotation. I need this entire key till end. I will copy it come back to chatbot, enter the private key and say connect. Once you click on connect, it will you say connection successful, connected to Dialogflow agent, German talker. So we have successfully connected Dialogflow agent in our UiPath chatbot service. Let's close the service account. We don't want it anymore. Navigate the chatbots again. Now we need to establish a connection with the orchestrator services because our workflow is in the orchestrator. So click on connect, but before that, let's navigate back to platform. So you can say back to automation cloud or you can just say platform.uipath.com. So once you navigate back to your cloud platform, click on admin, click on licenses, oh no, in the tenants. So we see this NISRC 23 is what we are using. Enable it, expand it. You see here API access of focus data. So click here, API access. You can see there will be multiple options available such as connection via API. So we need user key. I will copy the user key. Click on orchestrator service connection. We need to enter user key right here. We need account logical name. Come back. This is the account logical name right here. Paste it here. Tenant logical name. Come back. Copy this tenant logical name from here. Paste it here. We need a client ID. Just copy this client ID. Come back and paste the client ID right here. Once everything is done, just navigate back and save it. So I will say connect. And this is connected to orchestrator tenant NISA 23. Now we have established connection of both Dialogflow agent and orchestrator service. Now what we have to do is map the workflow. Now let's navigate to our orchestrator. In our orchestrator, we have created a process. If you remember in our previous episodes, the process is called as, what is the process name? Do you remember? Why is it loading so much of time? Okay, translate a chatbot. Let's navigate back to chatbot.uipath.com. Once you have established connection of dialogue flow and orchestrator service, click on map. And let's map this German translation intent. Click here. You see there's only one process right now in our orchestrator and it automatically maps the input because I told you to keep the name of input similar to the workflow input or workflow argument. You see German input. 
Now let's say and create click on map. Now our input has been mapped accurately. Let's go ahead and click on launch. And now all we have to do is in the next video, we are going to establish a connection with the Slack. And we are also going to go ahead and test how our chatbot works. So thank you so much for watching this video. In today's video, we have completed the connection of Dialogflow with UiPath chatbot. Thank you so much. See you next time. Happy automation.